Right. We about to tr- jump into the topic of the day. IT, y'all ready? Okay. All right, drop that. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. How to escape the mark of the beast. How to escape the mark of the beast. That's right. Hey, the only way to escape it, you got to know what that thing is. That's right. right. If you think it's a micro trip, you ain't going to escape it. You right. right. I'll let you know that right now. Bring it up. Give, give me the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Escape the mark of the beast. How to escape the mark of the beast. That's right. Hey, the only way to escape it, you got to know what that thing is. That's right. right. If you think it's a micro trip, you ain't going to escape it. You right. right. I'll let you know that right now. All right, Shalom. Wong. This is Har Wan by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, Le Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Kodash, Ma'amah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to your Akim, Nagwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Well, you heard it for yourself, man. Um, they're teaching that the Karag or the MOTB, Revelation 13, 16. <clears throat> now they're teaching that it's destruction. All right. They're saying that the, the MOTB is destruction. Now, I remember years back, they were teaching something different, saying that, um, I can't, you know, their doctrine is usually all over the place. One minute they're saying that it's destruction, then they're saying it's um, the belief in Christianity, you know, so now they're saying it's, uh, the number of his name is destruction. It's... <laughs> So, um, you know, uh, many of us have done, have done lessons on it. The elders have done lessons on it. So, um, we should know by now what the hour of temptation is. It's going to come upon all the world. It's going to be a moment <clears throat> to where they push this agenda and they give it a capstone or an actual, um, physical, um, what would you call it, man? A physical beacon that they can put into the body, which will be the actual, um, you know, to see it. All right, a digital system that they. Um, so now I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. So we should know what that is. Uh, we know that America is uh, losing its power in the world and also um, its current um, reserve status. You know, the power of its reserve status in the world. Uh, Everyone's using America's currency as a a reserve currency for trade. It still it still handles almost 97 or 95 to 97 percent of all trade on this earth so now you have coming up in august russia just russia just put out there this week past couple of days with china that they're releasing a world currency a digital currency starting in august a world currency and that's going to be a big game changer for um, America's uh, currency that's dominating around right now called the, the dollar, fiat currency, paper paper currency. So what they're going to have to, what America is going to be forced to do is to switch over to that digital system as well. As you can see, they're preparing their banks, they're preparing um, the transaction system. Like, like, say, for instance, um, I, I, owe a, I owe you a bill or I owe a bill to the electric company. And I pay the electric company. They're not going to get that money for a few days, even though I, I hit pay. My bank may not pay that bill for a couple of days, even though it's marked as guaranteed. You know, it's in there or whatever. It takes a while for that money to get transferred a couple of days, at least three business days. <clears throat> sometimes so to fix that they move to this, the fed now system they want all, all transactions done in lightning fast speed 
That's what this whole system is based on. They want things done quick. So they're setting up all their banks to be able to transact with each other in lightning fast speed through the FedNow system to where if you pay a bill, they get paid at that moment. So as you pay your electric bill, the money goes straight to them from the bank. All right, so that's their setup. Lightning fast speed, which, which also leads them into control. You know, with the Fed now system comes control. Comes the the opportunity for the IMF to push their digital currency called the XRP or Ripple system, which will ultimately be the world currency. Um, and every country is going to have to switch their currency to digital to match this new digital uh, setup that they have, uh, blockchain system. All right, digital currency like um, uh, China has the the yuan, which is backed by oil and gold. All right, so their new currency is going to be backed by gold. Um, so America is the only option America has at that point is to switch their currency the dollar is to turn into a digital dollar or the feds come up with a fed coin some type of digital form of CBDC central bank digital currency which could, which could be the new reserve currency a new means of trade between all the countries in the world that's what the BRICS the BRICS nations are, are, are aiming for this next coming month in August to switch over to that CBDC and bring out their own version of a world currency that all the nations are going to flock to man they're going to pull away from the American dollar this is going to leave America with what special drawing rights SDRs in the basket of the IMF International Monetary Fund currencies and through that, within that basket of currencies, all the other currencies are going to go digital. So the dollar is going to have to go digital as well. But once it once they do that, they've entered a new playing field to where it's like, um, say for instance, in this world, you're 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 like the top guy or a champion. But then in their little meta world you enter into that you know getting on there all the time and somebody over in china they're the top dog because it's digital it's a whole different world so the same thing with the with the currency in in, in the fiat paper currency america's still reigning supreme because this is the world reserve currency for all trade most of the trade not that it has more power or strength than the yuan or the ruble or to remember but what it is is it's still used as the world currency all right so it's going to switch they're preparing it to switch to digital so this is something that i guess the, the members over in iuic don't fully understand or comprehend um you know it's just not given to them to see so, it can, so they can be exposed for being those same the wicked uh, Pharisees and Sadducees from the ancient times during the times of Peter during the times of Yahweh same ones man back here today so that they can be exposed through their false doctrine alright so let's get into it man uh this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14. Let's go to verse 7 to get to the point. And even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sound, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, how shall people prepare, or who shall prepare himself to the battle? So how are they gonna know what battle to fight, what to prepare for? Like this guy saying, if you think it's the uh, the C hip, then you ain't gonna. 
uh, you ain't gonna be prepared for it. It doesn't make sense. You know? So, he's like, yeah, you, uh, you go along with their system. Like, nah, y'all was saying Christianity before. So, now, to prepare themselves for the battle is to tell everyone not to get it. In the hour of temptation that's going to come upon all the world, don't fall for it. You already see it at the registers. They're looking for a QR code. You can get that in your phone. Render it to Caesar what is Caesar's. Caesar's. You can have the C-hip in your debit card. But you see they're trying to push it closer and closer to the, to the human body. This is their goal. And, but once they tell you the karagma, meaning get it in the flesh, that's when Revelation 13 to 16 has come to life. And IUIC members don't understand that. A lot of them do, but they reject it. And they're going to regret it when that day comes. They're not, they're not going to be prepared for the true battle, which is going to be at their table. It's going to be at their door, and they're going to have to make a choice to get it or not. And most of them are going to get it, as you see they, they did during this uh, last lockdown. The main ones out there, the same ones are teaching the false doctrine. IUIC, ISUPK. <coughs> they were the main ones lined up during the um, the lockdown. Saying it's okay, you can you can do it. You can go get it. So you think that they're gonna they're gonna be the same ones that's gonna line up for the MOTB. They've already proven it. It's not like a oh man, they're gonna with it. Nah, they're gonna most likely do it. Some of them may repent and say, yo, and, and leave their false leader, man, uh, uh, Nate the devil, Nate Satan. They, they might leave him and say, yo, you know what? Y'all was wrong. All right. Isaiah 9 and um, 16. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. See, it's their leaders. See, he's going to have a lot of blood on his hands, man. Uh, Nate. <clears throat> so he's the leader of that con that congregation. So he's going to be held accountable for all those people that are being led astray, led into the fire, led into the oven. Revelation 14 says anybody that gets it, they're going to be caught up and with, burned with brimstone. And have their part in the lake of fire. So they can't. They, they got to be sure on this man. That's why the Lord said that. You can judge the weather. You can judge the times. But you can't judge the, the, the prophecies. You don't know what time you're in. What's going on. Who warned you. All right, it's for the leaders of this people caused them to err, man. And they that are led of them are destroyed. You see that? So they're being led to their destruction. All right, for the, the, the false teachers. All right, so the Lord said there's going to be false prophets in these times. Uh, 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were, <clears throat> but there were false prophets among the people. All right, somebody, somebody claiming to be a prophet. <clears throat> prophet means to say before, telling you what's going to happen according to the scriptures, breaking it down for you, interpreting it. But these are false prophets and false teachers. All right, so they, when it comes to the prophecies, they break them down incorrectly, almost in a, in a mocking tone. You know, mocking the scriptures, mocking the Lord. In the prophecies and the prophets. That's how you I see, man. They be mocking everybody. Um, now it says uh, it's scoffing. And they're going to be false teachers. So when it comes to the breakdowns, they go off on that as well. You ask them when the Sabbath, they'll say Friday and Saturday. You ask them about the new moon, they'll say it's the full moon. 
You ask them about the prophecies. They break that down wrong. All right. It says, who, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, man. So early in the game, they, they brought in uh, these damnable heresies. And heresies mean something that you just made up. And that's what Nate did, man. He making this shit up as he go. He was teaching it one way <clears throat> before he had his congregation teaching that the Revelation 13 and 16 is talking about the sea hip. You know, um, but now he, he the, the double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So even even leading that congregation, he, he's unstable in his doctrine because they have no knowledge. The scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. But this their camp and their leader is unstable <clears throat> spiritually in all their ways. That's, they're building their house upon sand instead of upon the rock. The rock represents the prophecies and the prophets. The spirit of truth that was started with Yahweh Shai and, and um, founded upon people like Peter. They were teaching the truth, man. But then you had the Sadducees and the Pharisees uh, not understanding the prophecies. Same way today. All right. So they bringing in damnable heresies, man. Something they making up. They making this shit up, winging it. Even denying the Lord that brought them, man. So they even deny Yahweh Shah. You ask them the Lord's name. They say Jesus or his name doesn't matter. So they deny Yahweh Shah as well. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. So it's going to be quick when it happens. <clears throat> And many shall follow their pernicious ways. All right, following their wicked uh, ways. So that's why they have them big congregations. The scriptures say that wide is the gate that leads to destruction, and narrow is the way, and, and few there be that find it to the kingdom, to salvation. All right, so many shall follow their pernicious ways. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. All right. So by these people, the truth is being evil spoken of. That's what they're saying. Things like, yeah, if you think, if you think you're gonna get the, uh, <clears throat> if you think the Revelation 13 and 16 is the MOTB, then you ain't gonna be ready for it, cause you ain't prepared. See that that's. That's that's speaking truth. That's speaking uh, evil of the truth. You know, speaking evil against the truth. That's what they're doing. <clears throat> and through covetousness shall they, with feigned words, make merchandise of you. See, it's all about money. Their leader has has been allegedly uh, announced to have made two hundred and fifty million dollars or something like that. Off this truth, man. Where they get the money from? From those people that are in this congregation. He made merchandise of them. Whose judgment now of a long time linger if not, and their damnation slumber if not, man. So it's right there at the door. Their destruction. All right, this is Matthew 16 and 1. The Pharisees. Also, with the Sadducees came and tempted, tempting Yahweh Shai, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. See, these same Sadducees, the same Pharisees uh, from the ancient times, the wicked ones, not the, you know, the legit ones that, that were being sincere. Uh, they were all, see, the Pharisees um, were all about the law. But they were the ruling government of Israel at that time, and they were teaching false doctrine. And they didn't. A lot of them didn't believe that Yahweh Shai was the Messiah. They were saying they were mad, saying he was better. That he was uh, thinking that he was better than Moses, which is true. He is better than Moses. But 
they were all about Moses and the law. <laughs> and they figured themselves to be keeping the law perfectly, which they were wrong. Just like IUIC thinks they're keeping it perfectly, which they're wrong. Um, and also, um, right, and because they they were um, the leading um, government of Israel at that time, they didn't want to lose their power seat. And they were envious and jealous of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was a, <coughs> was a common man. You know, from the line of Zerubbabel. <clears throat> but he was truly the king. He was true. He was made the high priest by Yahweh. And what he, what Yahweh Shai came to tell us, and came to tell John in Revelations, was about the MOTB that they're gonna move towards a digital system, man, and try to try to control everybody and and put that ownership on everyone. It just make, it's, it's right there because they have what you call the birth certificates, you know? <clears throat> the birth certificate, what they're gonna do is switch over from the straw man, which is the, um, a paper, you know, your name on paper in all capital letters is a straw man, an artificial you that they created at your birth in, this, in the system called the American um, financial system or sweat equity slaves. You know, they get your mother to sign you over as a slave to pay taxes in this society. All right. So they're trying to remove that uh, fraction of reserve currency system where you pay it, where it deals with credit from your birth. Um, they want to remove that whole system based upon the dollar as well. And they want to switch it over to digital and give everybody this new digital ID, digital banking, digital religion, you know, uh, QR codes. This is, this is all the form of ownership and taking away what you'll call privacy. This is their. This is the goal, but for 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 idiots out there, they're gonna say no, it ain't. It's, <laughs> it's Christianity or it's just belief in this system. But what system? In the dollar system? In, in their school system? What system is IUIC talking about? All right. So they came tempting the Lord, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. <clears throat> All right, because you have Pharisees, um, which the, the wicked ones at that time, because there were four uh, groups. There were the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Essenes, and the Zealots, which goes back to 168 BC, BC when our people were being Hellenized. <clears throat> I mean, it turned into being Greeks, right? Being forced to eat pork um, and denounce Yahweh. That's what they're about to do. They're trying to get our our people to completely denounce uh, their freedom. You know, they already den a lot of people already denounced God. But they're trying to get people to denounce the Lord all the way completely and denounce their freedom and give complete ownership over to these devil worshipers. <clears throat> and the, do, the way to do it is to give everyone a digital ID tag to be able to track everything that you do, control it the same way China's doing with their CBDC system. All right, that you may buy or sell with it. Karagma, which means to be uh, put into the flesh. All right, so I said the, the Pharisees, that's who they were. The Pharisees, all right, there was a, a group, a government that was over Israel that believed in 
um, only keeping the law, and that's how you get delivered. You know, circumcising your children, that's how you get delivered. And Yahweh Shai was saying, nah, you're going off. They're being hypocrites. They were still being wicked. They were selling out to the Roman government. You know, um, threatening to uh, with murder. All right, envy, conspiring against Yahweh Shai. So the Lord said they were, they were going to be judged for that, and this was going that was going to follow them into the future, all the way up until now. So how is the Lord making a separation in these times now, through the doctrine, to let to let us know who's who, who's His elect and who's not, who's His true teachers and, and prophets, and who are the false ones. <laughs> The Pharisees also with the Sadducees. And the Sadducees was another group just like the Pharisees. Going back to when we were Hellenized by the Greeks. Antiochus Epiphanes in 168 BC. You had three different groups. You had the Hasmoneans, which was through the Maccabees. Which later became the Zealots. With the ones like revolutionaries willing to fight and kill uh to be free, you know. But the Lord said, that's not what we're sent here for. We're sent as sheep amongst wolves in the fight, the, the, the true fight of faith. All right. <clears throat> our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And then you had um, another group at, besides the Hasmoneans called the Hasidim. The Hasidim were were basically like to, like us today. They were spiritual. They believed in the laws, you know. They believed in the prophecies. They were just like everyday citizens of Israel, the Hasidim. But then you had um, oh, then you had the Hellenized, Hel the the Hel Hellenist. All right. Um, which was also known as Greeks. And that word goes back to being pagan. So you had a lot of our people that followed after paganism. And a lot of the fa the Pharisees and Sadducees, um, after the time of the Maccabees, they were the ones that said, from this point, we're going to keep the laws. We're not going to ever um, backtrack on the laws, which we shouldn't, um, because that's what got us in trouble. So that carried all up until the time of Yahweh Shai with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They became the political government that was established during the time of the Hellenization of our people. The ruling class government of Israel. All right. So a lot of them were going off in their doctrine. <clears throat> and they're back here today. And I truly believe that a lot of them are in IEYC. All right, but the Sadducees, they were another class that believed in the laws, but they also didn't believe in the resurrection. They didn't believe in the, that Yahweh was the Messiah. You know, uh, Sadducees would be somebody like the guy named um, the demon that called himself Mighty Hebrew. You know, he doesn't believe in the Messiah. You know, <clears throat> they don't believe that he was risen from the dead. That's a Sadducee. Kind of had that Greek pagan mindset mixed in with uh, being an Israelite. So they wanted to see a sign from Yahweh Shai, just like today. A lot of people want to see a miracle. A lot of people want to see money. They want to see... Uh, Financial growth to show that the Lord is dealing with you. You know, they think gain is godliness. All right. <clears throat> it says, verse 2 And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather. So in the evening, you can see 
It says for the sky is red. All right, when it's red and hot, you can tell it's going to be uh, probably hot the next day. All right, and they can judge the weather like that. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. All right. For the sky is red and lowering, which which means like um uh what would be the word for it? Uh overcast. <clears throat> you can see an overcast, so you can kinda of tell it's gonna be a rainy week. You know, stormy weather or winter. So just like now you can see the fruit blossoming on the trees, so you can tell that the season is changing. Just like now, you can see them moving towards the digital system, CBDC, um, FedNow system, uh, IMF moving towards the XRP and Ripple system with BlackRock. Um, uh, them pushing the microchip, uh, so like it, and CHIP all over the world in different places. People getting it in their hand, getting it in their forehead now with, uh, what's his name? I forget the guy's name. The guy that deal with Tesla. <clears throat> I forget his name. I haven't talked to him about him in a while. But y'all know who I'm talking about. So, um, now, so you can see the signs of the times, man. You can see it happening. He said, you know that summer is nigh, man. All right. So they can discern the signs of the times, dealing with weather, dealing with money. They can say, hey, you know, invest in this, invest in that. It says, a, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh a sign, man. All right. They were mocking the name of Yahweh Shai. Oh, look, I found his name on a, on a rock in a, in, a, in a park in the street. In the city, he, you know, they wrote his name on a rock and was mocking the Hawashai's name. IUIC was doing that. So, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Those same people are back here today seeking miracles, seeking magic, seeking for their leader to ride in on a horse with fake, uh, fake gold sewn into his outfit <clears throat> looking looking like uh, majestic they want to see that they want to see people um, you know doing magic or voodoo or witchcraft alright or what they call money miracles manifest destiny a wicked and adulterous nation. Adulterous meaning idol worshiping, man. That's why they're still calling on Jesus. That's idol worship. All right. They're praising Serapis. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And that was... And he left them and departed. So Yahweh was tired of talking to them, man. Because he was like, you ain't going to get no sign. You want to see some magic? You want to see some power? You know? No, the spiritual power, the Lord ain't want to show them that. It wasn't, for, it wasn't for them to see to increase their faith. So he said, no, you're only going to get the sign of the son of Jonas. Jonas was in the, the, the uh, belly of the fish for three days, three nights. <clears throat> Just like Yahushua was in the belly of the earth, not in the grave in the ground, but in the grave in a the cave. They uh, in the tomb. They put Yahushua for three days and three nights. All right, and on the third day, at the crack of dawn in the morning, <clears throat> soon as that sun peaked over the horizon, Yahushua was out of the grave, and he was alive and living. And that was one of the signs. That's why I said these bear witness in heaven. Uh, let me get that real quick. All right, so a lot of people, a lot of uh, camps break this down wrong too. This is um, First John five. 
uh, and I'll start from seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Now that scripture right there, verse seven, is not supposed to be there. That was put in by the Masoretes. They called it ancient because they, it was written on the side column during um, 325 AD during the seven ecumenical councils dealing with Constantine. And they wrote it on the side column whether they were going to use that or not because it was put there. It was put there to honor their holy, their wicked folly uh, trinity doctrine. All right, they put it on the side column and since it was ancient times, today they call it ancient. So they put it, when, they, when the Masoretic text was made, they put it in this verse, verse seven. It's not even supposed to be there. So really verse eight is supposed to be verse seven because that's the true scripture. So people are trying to break down verse seven, you shouldn't even have to do that because it's not supposed to be there. It's called a, a, a comma. A comma is something that's written on the side. All right, the side note. Hey, should we talk about this or not? Or oh, this was discussed as well, but it wasn't part of the scriptures. And they added it in later. All right. Uh, so the scripture that you that 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 you should stick to is verse eight. All right, where it says this, and there are three that bear witness in the earth: the spirit, all right, the water and the blood and these three agree in one so it goes into the spirit being the spirit of truth and when the lord sent the spirit onto yahweh as a witness with john the baptist all right it goes to the spirit of truth and the, and the um and the water which is the baptism that yahweh came to baptize with this all right the doctrine and the blood which represents his cruci him being crucified so and, and um, being in the earth in the grave for three days three nights to, to almost to the point where the body was about to decay or is about to decay and uh, the Lord preserved Yahweh preserved Yahweh Shai from that and raised him from the dead all right so that was the only sign that they were going to get was the prophecies. That's what he was saying to them. All right. So if they can't get the prophecies, the Lord is like, hey, that's on you. He said, uh, they speak not according to this word. There's no light in them. And who have warned them against that day of destruction? That's what, that's what John um, the Baptist was saying to him. Why the hell are you showing up? You know, who warned you? <laughs> the Lord, he, yeah, you know, um, it was clear that the Lord wasn't dealing with this, the, the wicked Sadducees and Pharisees. Just like today, it's clear that the Lord is not dealing with IUIC through the doctrine, through their false preaching. All right. Matthew 16 and 5. So that's the only sign the Lord was going to give them. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. <clears throat> All right. So they forgot their, uh, you know, when they travel, they would take bread with them so they can feed the, the host of the, uh, the followers that were with them. Then Yahweh said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. So the Yahweh was on a whole nother mindset. He was when they was talking about they left the bread at the house. He said to them like, "Yo, basically today would be like, shit. Don't worry about that bread. You need to be aware of the leaven of these wicked Pharisees and Sadducees over here, over there. You know. So they took that as saying, "Oh man, is he talking about us? Because we we left the bread at the house." <laughs> Our people were foolish, you know. And uh, every time Yahweh Shah spoke, it's like a lot of them just couldn't get it. He had to break it down for them. All right. And when his disciples were 
come to the other side, they have forgotten to take bread. Then Yahweh said unto them, see, that that showed lack of faith. You know, they were worrying about these things, uh, what they shall eat, what they shall drink. But, you know, the Lord knows that we had need of all, of all these things. And they were with Yahweh and they saw him break down the loaves and the fish to feed all those people, thousands of people. They saw him do that. And they still worrying about bringing bread with them. That's a lot of us today. Worrying, stressing about uh, tomorrow. When the Lord says sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, meaning he's going to bless you with what you need for that day. And don't worry about tomorrow. You know, you prepare for it, of course, but don't worry. You pray or worry. We can't do both. It's not good to do both. So, verse 8, which which when Yahweh perceived, basically he saw that they were worrying about the bread, when he said, hey, beware the leaven of the Pharisees, they took it the wrong way. All right? That word leaven goes into corruption. That's what it means. Corruption, false doctrine, poison. Okay. Uh, it's like leaven is a rising agent, and it and it it blends in with anything that's connected to it, like the bread or the wheat. All right. Same way a poison or a mildew corrupts the uh, can corrupt a whole loaf of bread. So in this sense, it was the doctrine, false doctrine of the uh, false prophets that that Yahweh was telling them, they go, beware of it, man. Beware of the false doctrine and the hip hypocrisies of people like IUIC and these, these uh, Sadducees and Pharisees and false teachers out here like mighty Hebrew today. ISUPK, GLCC. All right. Um, which, when Yahweh perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because ye have brought no bread? See, that's just like us today. We worry about little dumb stuff, man. Just go out and teach. I, I don't know if I'm of the. I don't know if the Lord is dealing with me. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money for this, to do to get a camera. Man, go out and teach. The Lord will make a way. I don't know if I have a car. We'll catch the bus. You know I can't come out there to camp because I gotta pay these bills. Well, the Lord gonna take everything away. As you move more into the world, the Lord gonna remove His Spirit from you. Spirit of truth <clears throat> and his hedge of protection. So, what you want to do is choose Yahweh Shai, hang on to him, the anchor, hang on to that rope that's being cast out into the water, and don't worry about, uh, uh, you know, let that pull you through everything. All right? Base your life around the truth, base your life around you teaching, not base you teaching around your life no all right um he said they had little faith worrying about the, the bread he said do ye not understand neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you took up he said you don't remember i just fed all these people man y'all just saw me feed all thousands of people with five loaves of bread and five fish, I think it was. <laughs> he said, y'all saw him do that, but they still worrying about bread that they left at the house. That was a slap in the face to Yahweh Shah. That, that, was, that, was, that was showing lack of faith, man. That's like people um, lining up during the lockdown. 
you know, lack of faith. Neither the seven loaves of the 4,000 and how many baskets he took up. You don't remember that? That's what he was saying to him. Like, you don't remember I just fed all these people with that and you still worried about the bread that you, you left at the house? The Lord said he's going to make a way for us. You can prep all you want. But the Lord said he's going to provide a way. He's going to take care of us in that day. You know, it's good to prepare, but just know that the Lord is going to have your back. Your how about your mouth shot. You know, as long as you're living according to his word, his prophecies, his truth. How is it that ye do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning the bread? He's like, I'm not worrying about the bread and what you're dealing with. He said that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread. <laughs> he said, don't worry about the leaven of the bread that you're eating. But of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. So he was warning our people. Just like today, the Yahweh is warning us, beware of the doctrine of these false leaders, man, out here. All right, and that, that leaven goes into corruption, like this right here. Ezekiel 2 and um, 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. So today they're rebelling against Yahweh Shai, well, Yahweh, uh, through Yahweh Shai. They're, in, they're rebelling against the Lord by denying his truth, by denying the prophecies. So they're rebelling um, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. See, them and their forefathers. So they're back here today still rebelling against the Lord. Even unto this very day, <clears throat> For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted, man. I mean, they got their mindset in one direction. When you see how you are, see they got their head edged up, you know, they smiling and shit. And it's like, yo, you going off? No, I'm not. They start yelling on the microphone. Where your fringes, brother? You get supposed to have fringes on everything. <sighs> but then they're teaching false doctrine. They're even breaking down the laws incorrectly teaching false prophecies so they're stiff hearted they, they mean they, their neck is stuck going one direction and they're not turning back from it they're not repenting alright that's stiff hearted hard headed I do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them thus saith Yahweh right so our job is to speak thus saith Yahweh not thus saith Nate not thus say if I U I C, but thus say if you how about Shemel was shy, that these things are gonna happen and the last sign that's gonna happen before Yahweh Shai shows up is the MOTB that's gonna be pushed on all the world. It's gonna be a a world system change, a wealth transfer into digital currency, CBDCs, blockchain, into where if you everybody's gonna have a have a digital ID set up and uh, the physical aspect of that is going to be the QR code in the phones and from that they're going to go to the actual human body alright so now it says uh, so they're stiff hearted it says what but they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Yet they shall know that there have been a prophet among them. See, when, once the once the, the prophecy is going to back us up, and that's the goal, the end result. Let them. That's why the Lord said, in the harvest, let them both grow together. All right, and the angels going to do the reaping when they gather up the elect. And, they, and Psalms 91 happens 
and the elect are being taken care of and covered and the two third and false prophets, false teachers, they're being caught out here uh, and destroyed. So they're going to know that there were prophets, prophets among them. All right. The sincere ones, not saying people in church because they know about the Revelation 13, 16, but they still don't have the right doctrine about Yahweh, the truth about his name and, you know, and prophecies and the, the laws. Just because IUIC claim to be keeping the laws, which they're not doing it correctly, they don't have the right doctrine or the prophecies or the truth. Man, so they're like um, the Valley of Dry Bones, Ezekiel 37. They stand upon their greet, their feet, a great exceeding army, but they have no breath. They have no spirit of truth. The Lord said they were going to be false prophets in these days. Standing upon their feet, an army with no breath in them, army, an army of the dead. Claiming to be the army of the Lord. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee. See, they, briars and thorns represent something that pricks and pointy and hurtful. All right? So they, they, they mock at us, they scoff at us, they lie on the elders, calling them, uh, saying that they R A P E. You know? Um, calling them calling us bums, right? So it says here. Uh, so the the briars and thorns that represents them. It, the Lord said, "Cast not that pearl before swine, or they'll turn and rent you, like your family members, your, your people that you that were called friends." You know, they want to attack you and lie on you um, just because of the, the truth that you teach. But also it says this, and and thou, and and though thou doest dwell among scorpions, and that's when it goes into the leaven. Beware the leaven of the Pharisees, you know, the false teachers false prophets the scorpions represents the poison same thing as a thorn that, that aims to attack you in your life and lie on you or mock you or scoff at you but the um, scorpions they're the same thing they still prick and hurt but the thing is they have poison that they want to feed to you and get it into your system just like leaven the corruption yeast all right the rising agent causing them to be lifted up in their hypocrisy and their pride corrupting the whole loaf through their false doctrine you know IUIC be not afraid of their words nor be dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house and thou shalt speak my words unto them whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are most rebellious men all right, so that's what we're witnessing, the rebellious house. All right, that can discern the signs of the, the, the weather, but they cannot discern the prophecies. They didn't know what time they were in when Yahweh Shai was on the earth. They didn't realize it according to the prophecies that Yahweh Shai was going to be born in a manger, born in Bethlehem, um, um, born through a, a virgin, a young woman, in this sense, it was named, her name was Mary and Joseph. All right, through the bloodline of Joseph and from King David. <laughs> All right, um, that he's going to be born in the Roman Empire. All right, and he, and he, he lived out all the prophecies that were spoken by um, the prophets uh, bef before Yahweh You know, so I'm gonna end it here, man. Um, I'm gonna end it there. Let me get one more precept, probably. All right, this is First Corinthians three and eleven.
For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai, right? So they try to lay a different foundation and say his name doesn't matter. They calling on Jesus, Israelites united in Christ. You know, they, they don't deal with the, the true Hebrew. But you ask them their name, they got Hebrew names, a lot of them. But Yahweh Shai can't have his Hebrew name. It's just madness, man, over there at IUIC, once again. Now, if a man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, basically all false doctrines, right? False gods. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, all right? So that's what we're waiting for, the prophecies. That's going to back us up. And it's going to declare that 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 they're of the goats and we're of the sheep. Every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. All right. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. All right. Uh, Revelation 14 and one. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So they're going to have the name of Yahweh. And these are they that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. So this, they're standing for the name right now. This is before the tribulation. All right. And then even after the, the destruction, the elect are still going to be standing in the Lord's name. Once the smoke clears, once the fire is done. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne. And we're singing that new song right now. All right. And before the four beasts, the four living creatures, the, the angels, they're not beasts, but they're living beings, but they're not human. And the elders and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. All right, and that goes into the song of Moses. It's going to be uh, refreshed, praising. I think it's um, Exodus 15, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, it'd be Exodus 5, but I think it's Exodus 15, the song of Moses. But only the elect going to be singing that. And we're singing it today. Oh, faithful and true, you delivered us from the battle. You delivered us from this or that. All right? And the word singing means uh, praise, shouting, or scream, crying out to the Lord. And we're doing that now. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, meaning false doctrines. All right? For they are virgins, meaning pure. The elect, they, are, these are they, they are teaching the pure doctrine, the pure truth. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever He go up. So we're following His word, following His commands and His prophecies. But but two thirds, these false teachers, they turn the opposite way. They're not following the Lord. They try to create their own way. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. So the Lord is establishing his first fruits, which is going to be his elect. That are going to be close to him. All right. Close to the altar in his presence. Be meaning being priest to the Lord. And in their mouth was found no guile. See that? No false doctrine. So, you know, and that's the goal, to not be teaching lies. But the day is going to declare it by fire. That's going to be the judgment, who was right and who was wrong. For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh, 
And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people to my, of Israelites, wherever we're scattered, saying with a loud voice, fear Yahweh and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. And this is going to be after they push the uh, MOTB uh, on the whole world. And, and worship him that made heaven and earth, right? Don't worship this man's system. And the sea and the foundation of the world, of the waters, right? Don't worship Esau's system, you know? Worship, submit to Yahweh. I mean, get in order in his truth. So, you know, uh, submit yourselves under the mighty hand of the Lord, meaning under his men, under Yahweh. And there followed another angel saying Babylon is falling. So once America falls and it get, gets destroyed, that's when this is going to happen. Babylon is falling, is falling. That great city, there is a great city, meaning in wealth and resources, just like ancient Alexandria, Egypt was a great city, just like Babylon was a great city through its resources and business and commerce and power in the world. Because she made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So all the nations are going to have some form of judgment upon them. With, that was called World War Three. All right, for the business and the uh, witchcraft and, and devil worship these nations have done together and keeping the children of Israel oppressed For the, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship or submit to the beast the beast is uh, NATO America and the European Union all together uh, the beast and his image, meaning his system, all right, the system that they're establishing, and receive his uh, mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right? That's not talking about some damn um, Christianity or whatever they were saying, man. They, they, they you know, I'm going to play the clip again at the end. But they were like, if you think it's the, the sea hip, then you're not going to be ready. <laughs> you know? So if anybody received Esau's um, digital system in their body or in their forehead, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Basically, it's going to be a part of America, a part of the system. So you're going to get the same destruction. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever for a long time. It's going to go on for a, a, a major distance. You're going to see the smoke burning and also in time, it's going to burn for a long time. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image. So once they, they give into the system, it's going to, all hell going to break loose on them. They're going to get boils on their skin, cancer, sickness. Look at that. Look at the people that went down to Egypt for help in this past lockdown. Look at their symptoms. Look at the outcome. People dropping dead. All right. So they're going to be tormented. And whosoever receiveth the, the mark of his name, of his system. All right. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. So even if somebody die in this truth, you're still good. You're still going to be taken care of in that day and, and be risen up to rule on this earth 
in the last day. So your work's going to follow you. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. All right, so that's what we want, our works to follow us. Because two-thirds and these false prophets and false teachers, their works followed them even until now. The Lord said that. All right, this is Matthew 12 and 32. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. All right, so back then, 2,000 years ago, that's when this was written. So uh, people that were speaking against Yahweh Shai, they didn't believe it. Yahweh Shai was there to show the miracles and to prove it to him. I'll show you that, that he's the Messiah, you know. So they can go off on that, but get it right, you know, try to do, um, you would think they would believe the signs that he came to show, that the Father gave him to show. So, but whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, so he's speaking against the truth, speaking against the prophecies, speaking against the, the, um, the testimony that Yahweh gave of his son, it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world so he was talking about uh in the roman empire neither in the world to come so neither in this time now so some people say in the kingdom no it's talking about right now so it's not gonna they're not gonna be forgiven in that time when your house was on the scene when it was called pharisees and sadducees and false teachers and, and such right non-believers so they're not going to be forgiven then, and they're not going to be forgiven now. All right? In the judgment time. Neither in the world to come. Why? Because their works followed them. All right? So either make the tree good and his fruit good, all right? Or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, man. It don't matter if they're minor teachers, if they're elders. That mean that whole tree is corrupt with Nate and his followers. The branches and the fruit that they bear. It's all falsehoods. For the tree is known by its fruit. So you can tell through their doctrine that there's something corrupt going on within them as individuals. O oh, generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? Dang, man. So that's why they can't speak the truth because there's evil in them. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So now we gotta make a choice now. Who you gonna believe? The, the people warning you about the system changing and they moving towards a digital system, hoping to put it into the body as full control, you know, and such, as we already know. Or, or believe these uh, heresies that IUIC is bringing up saying um, it's, it's belief in Christianity or just belief in Esau or their system no it's going to be a physical temptation that's going to happen a trial period physical they're going to try to put something into the body as ownership just like they already did a dry run with the lockdowns making everyone uh, lose their um, rights by signing over their rights to all these corporations. Whoever, whichever corporation owns whichever uh, Maxine that they got. All right. They no longer have rights to, to their straw man birth certificate they lose that, you know, for what's to come. 
So this is the goal, man. Um, so yeah, the Lord is making a separation. He's sifting the house of Israel. And uh, the IUIC uh, bites the dust again. The dust meaning confusion, right? And exposing the, themselves through their false doctrine for the evil and the corruption that's going on within their camps. With that, I'm going to say, uh, Shalom.